if you're being honest, did you get more questions about Lonzo or about LeVar? I mean, there's questions about the both of them. I mean, LeVar um, obviously has became almost a celebrity um, in the country now. And, I mean, he's done, I mean, a lot of things for, for him and his sons. Um, regardless of good or bad, I mean, him and his family are great people. And um, I've known LeVar and Lonzo and, and their whole family for a long time. So, I mean, I really do enjoy being around all of them. And I wish all of them nothing but the best. Have they given you a free pair of shoes? I mean, you guys were teammates. You made it to the Sweet 16. I feel like you earned a pair of big ballers, didn't you? I mean, I think I've earned one, too. We'll see. Um, once they start shipping out, I, I assume there'll be one on my door. But, I mean, we'll see about that. I'll have to talk with Lonzo and LeVar about that. <laughs> That's fantastic. You know, it's funny. You said, obviously, you said LeVar's become a little bit of a celebrity. He's been a little bit of a lightning rod. He's taken up a lot of time in this interview. Um, you said you didn't, <laughs> you didn't take offense to his comments after the Sweet 16 that, you know, you can't win with white players because white players are slow. Now, even if you didn't take offense to that, did people around you talk to you about that comment? Um, yeah, I think a lot of people maybe took that comment um, a little much. I mean, LeVar is going to say what he's going to say. He's a very outspoken guy, and that's just who he is by nature. So, I mean, he's going to say what he's going to say. I never, I mean, I never really get into that. I mean, I know LeVar, and I know he's not like that. Um, and I know Lonzo. I mean, him are really close. I mean, yeah, I think a lot of people took that um, a little bit deeper than he meant it to be. But, I mean, it is what it is at this point. I mean, LeVar is going to say what he's going to say, and he just wants what's best for Lonzo in the end.